I'm Nick Clark. I am the curator of herpetology at the Central Florida Zoo and Botanical Gardens. Uh, the cottonmouth or water moccasin is probably the most misunderstood and misidentified snake that we have in North America, uh, not just Florida. It is the only venomous water snake that we have in the United States. One that is very commonly misrepresented as a cottonmouth is the Florida banded water snake. Uh, they are both found in the same environment and their coloration is pretty similar. One of the best ways to identify the cottonmouth, also known as the water moccasin, is by the brown stripe that it has that runs alongside its eye. It looks like a mask. Just remember a stoplight. If red is next to yellow, that will be the identifying coloration for the coral snake. The red will be next to yellow on that animal. Any uh, red, yellow, uh, and black banded snake you should always leave alone, but we do have two similar species uh, that are also red, black, and yellow banded that are non-venomous. They are the Scarlet King Snake and also the Scarlet Snake. Uh, one of the easy ways to identify the Scarlet Snake from those other two is their bands don't go all the way around the body. Uh, where the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake is the largest venomous snake in North America with a record of eight feet. They have a, a brown coloration, uh, usually a, a dark brown, almost a black sometimes, to a, a lighter brown. They will have a diamond pattern and sometimes that is not a truly distinct diamond. Uh, but it will be diamond-like pattern uh, that will be trimmed in uh, either a cream color or a yellow coloration. The Florida pine snake is very commonly mistaken for the eastern diamondback and quite honestly their patterns really are not similar at all uh, just simply because of where they're found which is usually highland uh, areas, uh, sandy scrub areas. They're, they do share that environment. The pygmy uh, rattlesnake, it's responsible for the most venomous snake bites of any snake in Florida. Part of that is because of its small size. Uh, it blends in really well with the environment as well, so that does help camouflage it so that people do have accidental encounters with it. Eastern hognose snake is, is very commonly mistaken for the pygmy rattlesnake. The pygmy rattlesnake is typically a kind of a grayish coloration, maybe a light black. Along the back, it has dark spots, and in between those dark spots, it'll have kind of reddish orange or burnt orange uh, marks in between those spots. Learn to identify the four that we have in Central Florida that can be considered dangerous or are venomous to us. I like to tell people, if you can tell the difference between a German Shepherd and a Boxer, uh, you can tell the difference between a venomous and a non-venomous snake, just knowing what to look for and where to look for it at.